number six. Welcome to Antarctica. It's the coldest place on the planet, and yet here you can find a story to warm the iciest heart. That's because our next body snatcher is motivated by love and grief. Bursting in to number six in the countdown is the Emperor Penguin. At the end of the summer, they waddle up to 50 miles to find their breeding grounds. They're looking for a site that's sheltered from the wind because emperor penguins are the only animals that breed during the Antarctic winter. In this icy wilderness, there's no nest material. So, after laying a single egg, the female rests it on her feet. sets off on the long trek back to the sea to feed. It will be two months before she sees her baby again. The male is left balancing the egg on his toes in the middle of the world's worst winter. Meanwhile, the female is far away in the open ocean, building up her energy reserves by feasting on fish and krill. But she's still producing large amounts of the parental hormone prolactin. This drives her maternal instincts and could be the reason she's so keen to make the long trek back to her baby with a belly full of food. <coughs> Unfortunately, keeping chicks alive in this extreme environment isn't easy. discovers that her newborn chick is dead. For most birds, this would cause the mother's prolactin levels to drop, but not the female emperor. <laughs> Driven on by her hormone-fueled mothering instincts, the female looks for a baby to nurture, even if it belongs to another female. Somewhere under this pile of bodies, a baby penguin is being snatched away from its birth parents. The Emperor Penguin is number six in the countdown because she'll kidnap a chick to replace her own. Unfortunately, this chick is doomed. The body snatching lasts for no more than a week before the seemingly distraught parent abandons her stolen baby. And in this frozen wilderness, an orphan chick can die in minutes. It's a tragic story, and one that's repeated all over the world thanks to body snatching humans. According to the Wildlife Conservation Society, the illegal wildlife trade is a $6 billion a year global industry. And what's worse, they estimate that up to 80% of tropical birds die during transport for the exotic pet trade. That's why bird smugglers have taken to transporting black market eggs instead. According to Director of Science at Australia's Museum of Victoria, Les Christidis. They'll bring the eggs in either stuck in a pouch in their underpants or in their bra or something like that. Customs people approach them and say, we think you're smuggling in eggs and that. And all they do is they just smash the eggs. So what you've got is a pouch full of smashed eggs. But what we can do is, from those smashed eggs, just get, you know, little bits of sample, check the DNA, and find out what it is.
case and we've been able to work out uh, in cases what's been smuggled out of the country and what's been smuggled into the country. Parrots are a prime target for these black market body snatchers. So before you adopt a parrot, you need to know where it's from, according to Lee Schoen, curator of birds at the Houston Zoo. One thing you want to do if you're going to buy a parrot is make sure you're getting it from a reputable breeder here in the United States. A lot of folks in the United States raise parrots as pets, and therefore they're not being smuggled in from the wild. They make for a much better pet, and therefore you're not endangering the, the birds in the wild. For emperor penguin chicks, the biggest threat is not from human bird smugglers, but from hormone-filled females of their own species. It's a sad story of misplaced love. <laughs> However, it's not the last time we'll see the fatal consequences of a body snatcher at work. While our last two contenders were only interested in stealing babies, coming up is a body snatcher that can make a rat love a cat. down of the most extreme body snatchers continues with a mother's worst nightmare. After all the hard work of building a nest and successfully laying an egg, along comes our next contender. An unguarded nest is an open invitation for a cuckoo. This female is raiding the nest of poor little reed warblers. It steals one of their eggs and replaces it with one of her own. The cuckoo's egg, sitting at the front of the nest, is so well disguised that it fools the reed warbler into believing that her family is safe and sound. But as soon as it hatches, the cuckoo chick moves into action. pushes out all the competition. Then it literally eats the parents out of house and home. The reed warblers end up feeding a baby that's ten times heavier than they are. Strangely enough, some human body snatchers have used a similar tactic to save the world's rarest bird. These tiny islands off the coast of New Zealand were the last refuge of the Black Robin. In 1980, the entire population consisted of just five birds. The species was on the verge of extinction until some human cuckoos gave them a helping hand. Researchers from the Department of Conservation decided the best way to save the black robin was to become body snatchers. Usually, the tiny robin lays just one clutch of eggs, but perhaps she could be persuaded to lay again by giving her eggs to foster parents. delicate cargo is transferred to a pair of nesting tom tits. Just as they'd hoped, 
a female robin laid again, doubling her normal productivity. And the tomtits proved to be excellent parents, raising the robin chicks as they would their own. Within a year, the population of black robins more than doubled. Today, it stands at 250, thanks to a program of benign body snatching. If only cuckoos were as caring. At least these feathery frauds only pick on unborn chicks. The next contender takes over the body of its adult victim while it's still very much alive, and then eats its brain. 